Every year at 4C Design we like to take on a graduate intern and try and give them a project, something charity based or to introduce them to somebody with specific needs. In this occasion it was Grant who had a great idea. Hi, I'm Grant. I've got the green computer guy and I've all been disabled since birth. And as a result of my disability, I have poor hand control. And that means although I can eat more things with a fork when it comes to a spin, it's really difficult. I've got to rely on it. The development of the spoon started with Grant. He's one of those kind of guys who has loads and loads of ideas. And for a friend of a friend, uh, we, we basically got in contact with him. He got in contact with us to develop uh, an eating utensil that would allow him to eat other, other foods like cereals or soup. And even from the first meeting, there was a clear indication that they could go down the mechanical route or the form route. Um, so we kind of worked on that using um, various iterations of, of prototypes and sketches uh, and several meetings we've run both here in the studio as well as at his home. We were able to give him something for Christmas which was it was a prototype that had a hand carved uh, foam handle and a SLS printed spoon head and the feedback we got from that was just outstanding and that's kind of where we realised that actually the spoon could be quite useful for other people other than Grant. Yo. What are the shops been done for me? It's when Momo Agony is taking out the frustration of picking up something in the unexpected and then finding it falling all over the place and I don't get to my mouth. So now I can eat soup, cereal, pea corn, whatever. And it's going to bring you spill anything. I can eat what I want when I want, I'm not relying on them to help me. And if it can work for me, it can work for lots of other people as so well. Think about people with Parkinson's disease, people in their school, people with strokes. It, it gives me lots of freedom and it can give them freedom as well.